Hey guys, what is up? Brennan here, aka Brumbo, and we're back with another video. But before I start, you guys might be wondering, what could I possibly have got that is better than wheels and coils? Well, you better just stay around and find out. So I already know what I'm going to tell you is going to really di disappoint you, because you guys are expecting something for the car. But in reality, it's something for the channel, which is really going to benefit the viewers. You guys might not appreciate it, I have no idea, but it's the camera. If you guys can't tell the quality, I don't know if you can tell the quality or not, but I know in low light, in the car, vlogging and stuff like that, it's going to be a whole lot better. And I'm going to get more into that right now. So, I'm using a Nikon Coolpix S6900 digital camera. And you'll be wondering, wow, he got a digital camera and it's... It's better than your average digital camera, and I'll explain why. For starters, it has a flip-out screen, so I can see myself in the shot, and I can see if I'm in focus, unlike my phone I was using before. And if you guys didn't know, that's right, I was using my phone. So I guess that proves that you can at least get to 2,500 subscribers with just using your phone. You don't need any fancy gear. I'm just doing this because I noticed that my quality is getting a little bad in the car and maybe in some of my installations that I need to upgrade a little bit. But you just might see me looking this way because I'm looking at the screen to see if I'm in focus, if I'm in the shot, if I'm centered and stuff like that. So I think that's a really neat feature because that's like some high dollar SLDR stuff, right? Because all the good ones, the Rebel T6i, if you want to go down that route and stuff, they have the flip out screen so you can see yourself. And I was really surprised to see this in a digital camera. And if you guys don't know much about cameras like I do, it's a very cheap camera. It's only about $200. You get a flip out screen, 16 megapixels, full 1080p HD resolution, touch screen on the screen that flips out. It's really, really nice for how cheap it is. And I think this is going to last me a long time until I get the SLDR. And if you guys can't tell, it's a wide angle lens, so you can see a lot more around me. And it's just a lot easier to make videos like this. I will be also getting a Gorillapod, like holding tripod mount, I guess, like everyone else uses. For right now, I'm just using like this little selfie stick. But I will be getting that soon, and that'll complete my list of all the camera gear I need. But I got some other stuff I will be showing you, but that will finish off my list is that Gorillapod. But I don't have that yet, but I will be getting that soon. So here are the new things I have acquired. Here is old, and then here is new. So I'll start with the tripod. My old tripod's 50 inches, my new one is 55 inches. So it's a lot taller, and it's a lot more heavy duty. It's all metal where my old one was plastic. I got my old one off Amazon for $10. This new one's about 55, so it's a lot better, and it's a lot thicker. You won't be able to tell, but trust me, it's a lot thicker and heavier. Also, the handles for pan shots are a lot bigger, and it'll be easier to use. Next, the suction cup mounts for the car. The one before, if you guys didn't know, I said it before, I used my phone. So this is for a phone, one suction cup, and this is really for just multitasking when you're driving and it's not really meant for recording I just set it up so I could really record with it it was my own creative idea I guess I don't know my new one double suction cup and it goes to my windshield and I'll be flipping it upside down and I'll just be recording upside down but then I'll flip it in the editing program so it'll look normal but this is more way more professional double suction cup so it won't wobble as much and it'll be stuck to the windshield a lot better and it won't fall because I've been recording sometimes and it'll just fall. So this is a lot better. Both of these objects, my tripod and my suction cup mount, are a huge upgrade to what I've had. So that will end it for today's video, guys. I know the title was very misleading, but I had to let you guys know what I got. And I want to let you guys know that I care about you and I want to make the channel better. I also forgot to mention I will be putting links to all the stuff that I bought down below besides the tripod. I didn't buy that off Amazon, but everything else I will. And then I also forgot to mention I got a SanDisk 32 gigabyte uh, SD card for it. It reads 95 megabytes per second. I don't know if you guys care about that, but that's like the best I could find for this camera. So I'll also link that down below. If you guys are interested in this stuff, there you can find it. And like I said, you don't need the best stuff to start a channel. You could just use a phone like I did. But this is going to make me get to the next level for my channel and then eventually get up there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, learn something about cameras or accessories, and I will see you guys in the next video. Could be a mod video, who knows? 
But I'll see you guys later. Peace.